your thumb at us, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Do you bite your thumb at bite us, sir? Your thumb at bite us, your sir. thumb at us, sir? No, sir. I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. But I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you quarrel, sir? Quarrel, sir, no, sir. Do you quarrel, do you quarrel, 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 sir? Quarrel, sir, no, sir. If you do, sir, I am for you, I am for you. If you do, sir, I am for you. I am for you. I am for I am for you. I serve as good a man as you. I serve as good a man as you. No better. Here comes Tybalt. Say better. Yes, better. You lie. Swords. You know not what you do. What art thou drawn? Turn thee, Benvolio. Look upon thy death. Thy sword, put up thy sword. Put up thy sword, put up thy sword. Or manage it to part these men with me. Peace. What? Drawn and talk of peace. What? Drawn and talk of peace. I hate the word, I hate the word. I hate the word, I hate the word, as I hate hell, all Montagues and thee. If ever you disturb our 
streets again. The life shall pay the forfeit of the peace. Once more, on pain of death, all men depart. was here, yet tell me not, for I have heard it all. Good morrow, cousin. Is the day so young? But new struck nine, I mean, sad hours seem so long. What Sadness lengthens Romeo's hours. Not having that which having makes them short. In love, out of love. Out of her favor, out of her favor, where I am in love. Love is a smoke. With a fume of sighs, love is a smoke raised with a fume of sighs, a fire sparkling in lovers' eyes, a sea nourished with lovers' tears, still waking sleep, bright smoke, fire. not laugh. No cause, I rather weep. Good heart, at what? At thy good heart's oppression. What such is love's transgression? This love that thou hast shown doth add more grief to too much of mine own. What is it else? A madness most discreet, a choking gall and a Be ruled by me, 
forget to think of her. Oh, teach me how I should forget to think. This is the matter. Nurse, give leave a while. We must talk in secret. Again, I have remembered me those here on council. Who knows my daughter's of a pretty age? Faith, I can tell her rich unto another. Give liberty unto thine eyes. Examine other beauty. Show me a mistress that is passing fair. What doth her beauty? Shut 
locked up in prison, kept without my food, whipped and tormented. And God and good fellow. God, get God in, I pray, sir. Can you read? Lost in grief, the valiant Paris. Young lady, lady, such a man as all the world. Why, he's a man of wax. No, no, summer hath not such a flower. Nay, he's a flower, a flower, in faith a fairy flower. Say you, can you love the gentleman? and daughters, County Anselma, and his beauteous sisters, Signor Placencio, and his lovely and his cousin, Tybalt. My fair niece, Rosaline. <laughs> A fair assembly, whither should they come? To supper to our house. Whose house? My master's. Indeed, I should have asked you that before. Now I'll tell you without asking. My master is the great rich Capulet. And if you be not of the house of Montagues, I pray, come and crush a cup of wine. Rest you merry. This night you shall behold him at a feast. Same ancient feast of Capulets. Sops, the fair Rosaline, thou so lovest with all the admired beauties of Verona. Go thither and with unattainted eye compare her face with some that I shall show.
enter, and no sooner in, but every man betake him to his legs. Give me a torch, being but heavy, I will bear the light. Nay, gentle Romeo, we must have you dance. We'll draw thee from the mire wherein thou sticks up to the ears. Come, we burn daylight, oh, and we mean well in going to this mass, but tis no wit to go. Why may one ask? I dreamed a dream to know And so did I. I Well, what was yours? That dreamers often lie I in bed asleep While they do dream things true Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife. And she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an older man. Drawn with a team of little atomies. Athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut. Her wagon spokes made of long spider's legs. The cover of the wings of grasshoppers. Her whip of cricket's bone. The lash of film. Her wagoner, a small great coated gnat. Gallops night by night to lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut, her wagon spokes made of long spider's legs. The cover of the wings of grasshoppers, her whip of cricket's bone. And in this state she gallops night by night the lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. She gallops night by night the lovers brains and then they dream peace peace mercutio peace thou talkst of nothing true i talk of dreams as thin of substance as the air and more inconstant than the wind. Oh, this wind you talk of blows us from ourselves. Supper is done, and we shall come too late. I fear too early, for my mind 
misgives some consequence yet hanging in the stars. But he that hath the steerage of my course direct my sail. On, lusty gentlemen. This intrusion shall now seeming sweet convert to bitter gall. Touch you. 
with a tender kiss. But Hilcom, you drew on your hand too much. For saints have hands that Hilcom's hands do touch. And from to the father's holy father's kiss. Have not saints lips? Ay, Pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Saints, let lips do what hands do. They pray. Grant thou less faith, turn to despair. Saints, do not move. Grant for prayer's sake. Then move not. While my prayer's effect I take. Let's away the strangers all are gone. Can I go forward when my heart is here? Turn back. Center out.
Oh, <laughs> 
unsatisfied. What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. And yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it for one purpose, love? Tomorrow shall I send to thee at the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years to Let me stand here. 
gray-eyed morn smiles on the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with the streaks of light, and the fleckled darkness like a drunkard reels from fourth place path and titan's fiery wheel. Now, ere the sun advance his burning eye, the day to cheer and the night stake due to dry, I must upfill this torture cage of ours with pale Precious juiced clouds. I must appeal this ocean cage of ours with baleful wheat, with baleful wheat and precious. Benedicite, what early tongue so sweet saluteth me. Young son, it argues a distempered head so soon to bid good morrow to thy bed. For if not so, then here I hit it right. A Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. At last is true, the sweeter rest was mine. God pardon sin. Was thou with Rosaline? With Rosaline, I have forgot that name and that name's woe. That's my good son. But where hast thou been then? I'll tell thee, ere thou ask it me again. I have been feasting with mine enemy, where on a sudden one hath wounded me. That's by me wounded. Both are remedies within thy help and holy physic lies. Refrain, good son, and holy in thy dream. Riddling confession finds but riddling stream. They plainly know my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of a rich Capulet as mine on hers, so hers is set on mine. And this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis, what a change is here. Is Rosaline, whom thou didst love so dear, so soon forsaken, Jesu Maria. What a deal of brine hath washed thy sallow cheeks for Rosaline. Thou chides me oft for loving Rosaline. For doting, not for loving, pupil mine. I pray thee, chide not her I love now, doth grace for grace and love. Come, young waverer, come, go with me. In one respect, I'll by assist and be. For this alliance may so happy prove. You turn your household's rancor to May so, happy may so happy prove to turn our household rancor to, to your love. Your love. Oh, let us hence, I stand on sudden haste. And slow, 
wisely and slow, they stumble, stumble that run fast. Where the devil should this Romeo be? Came he not home tonight? Not to his father's, I spoke with his man. Ah, that same pale, hard-hearted wench that Rosaline torments him so that he shall soon run mad. Tybalt, the kinsman of Ocabulet, hath sent a letter to his father's house. A challenge on my life. Romeo will answer it. Alas, poor Romeo, he is already dead. Stabbed with the white wench's black eye, run through the ear with the love song, the very pin of his heart, left with the blind bow boy's butt shaft. And is he a man to encounter Tybalt? Why? What is Tybalt? More than a prince of cats, I can tell you. He fights as you sing a prick song. Keeps time, distance, and proportion. Rest me his minimum rest. One, two, and the third in your bosom. Here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. Here Romeo. Bonjour, bonjour. You gave us the counterfeit fairly last night. Good morrow to you both. What counterfeit did I give you? The slip, sir, the slip. Can you not conceive? Pardon, good Mercutio. My business was great. And in such a case as mine, a man may strain courtesy. That's as much as to say. Such a case as yours constrains a man to bow in the hands. Meanings to curse. Thou hast most kindly hit it. A most courteous exposition. Why? Is not this better now than groaning for love? Now art thou sociable, now art thou Romeo, now art thou what thou art, by art as well as by nature. Here's goodly dear, a sail, a sail, two, two, a shirt and a smock. My fan, Peter. Good Peter, to hide her face. For her fans, the fairer face. God ye good morrow, gentlemen. God ye good den, fair gentlewoman. Is it good day? Tis no less, I tell you, for the body hand of the dial is now upon the brink <laughs> of noon. Out upon you, what a man are you? One gentle woman that God hath made for himself to mar. For himself to mar, by my troth it is well said. <laughs> Gentlemen, can any of you tell me where I may find the young Romeo? I can tell you, but the young Romeo will be older when you have found him, and you are when you shot him. If you be he, sir, I desire some confidence with you. She will indict him to some supper. A bod, a bod, a bod, so ho! What 
I saw found. No hair, sir, unless a hair, sir, in a Lenten pie. That is something stale and hoar, ere it be spent. An old hair whore and an old hair whore is a very good beat in land. But a hair that is whore is too much for a score when it pours ere it be spent. <laughs>
and a peace. The clock struck nine when I did send the nurse. Promised to return. Now is the sun upon the high most hill of this day's journey. And from nine till twelve is three.
smile the heavens on this holy act that after hours with the sorrow chide us not. Amen, amen, but come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail the exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in her sight. Do thou but close our hands with holy words, then love devouring death to what he dare. It is enough, I may but call her mine. to my ghostly confessor. Romeo shall thank thee, daughter, for us both. As much to him as this is thanks to much. Come, come with me, and we will make short work. You shall not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two in one. Come, come with me, and we will make short work. Come, come with me, and we will make short you work. Shall not stay we alone shall not stay till alone Holy Church till Holy Church incorporate two in one. Two in one. Two in one. We shall not stay alone. To do it one. To do it one. To do it one. To do it one. To do Consorced with Romeo. Consorced with 
Consort, consort, what does thou make us minstrels? Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. Sounds consort. Well, peace be with you. No better term than this. The heart a villain. Tybalt, the reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the appertaining rage to such a greeting. Villain, am I none? Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowst me not. I, this shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me. Therefore turn and draw. I do protest I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise, till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. Oh, come, dishonorable, vile submission. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you walk? What would thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nightmares. I am for you. Beat down their weapons, Tybalt, Mercutio. Forbear this outrage. Hold Tybalt, good Mercutio. Cannot be much is not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door, but tis enough. Beauty 
hath made me effeminate. And in my temper softened valor steel. Fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. Now, Tybalt, bring the villain back again. Mercutio's soul is but a little way above our heads. Deign for thine to keep him company. Thou wretched boy that didst consort him here, shout with him. Hands.
cat and dog and little mouse live here in heaven and may look on her. Hard to mangle me with that word. Banishment. Do not say banishment. Be merciful. Say death. Let me dispute with thee of thy estate. Thy Juliet is alive. There art thou happy. Tybalt would kill thee, but thou slewest Tybalt. There art thou happy. The law that threatened death becomes thy friend and turns it to exile. There art thou happy. But like a misbehaved and sullen wench, thou pounce upon thy fortune and thy love. Who knocks so hard? Whence come you? What's your will? I come from Lady Juliet. Welcome, then. Oh, holy friar, oh, tell me, holy friar, where is my lady's lord? Where's Romeo? There on the ground, with his own tears made drunk. Stand up, stand up, stand, and you be a man. For Juliet's sake, for her sake, rise and stand. Nurse, thinkest thou of Juliet? How is it with her? Does she not think me an old murderer? Dear sir, I think she bid me give you, sir. Go get thee to thy love, ascend her chamber, hands and comfort her. Go before him, nurse, command me to thy lady, and bid her hasten all the house to bear. Come my in. lord, I'll tell my lady you will come. Do so, and bid my sweet prepare to chide. Hi, you make haste, for it grows very late. Go hence, good night, but look thou. Stay not till the watch be set. It is not yet near day. It was the nightingale and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thy knee. It was the lark, Believe me, lark the herald of the morn. It was the nightingale, the lark, Believe the nightingale. Me.
thou wilt have it so. I'll say young gray is not the morning's eye. I have more care to stay than will to go. Come, death and welcome. Juliet wills it so. Oh, you are. 
sins, thy sighs raging with thy tears shall overset thy tempest tossed body. How now, wife, have you delivered to her our decree? Aye, sir, but she will go on. She gives you thanks. I would the fool were married to her grave. Oft, take me with you, take me with you, wife. How could she not? Does she not give us thanks? Is she not proud? Doth she not count her past, unworthy as she is, that we have wrought so worthy a gentleman to be her bridegroom? God, God, you have not faithful as you have. Thank me, no thankings, no proud me, no prouds, but fat all your fine joints gets first in next to go with Paris to St. Peter's shoot. For I will drag thee with a hurdle thither. Out, you green sickness carrion. Out, you baggage, you tallow face. Good father, I beseech you on my knees. Hang me, young baggage. I tell thee what, get thee to church on Thursday. And you be mine, I'll give you to my friend. And you be not. Hang, bag, starve, die in the street. For by my soul, I'll never acknowledge thee. Oh, sweet my mother, cast me not away. Delay this marriage for a month, a week. It best you married with the county. Oh, he is a lovely gentleman, a lovely gentleman, a lovely gentleman. Romeo's a dish clout to him. I think you are happy in the second match. For it excels your first. Speakest thou from thy heart and from my soul too? Thus beshrew them both. Amen. What? Well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much.
know my grief. It strains me past the compass of my wits. I hear I must on Thursday next be married. Sir, tell me not that thou hearest of this, unless thou tell me how I may prevent it. God joined my heart and Robbie was, and thou a hand, and ere this hand, if my true heart turned to As desperate an execution as that is desperate, which we would prevent if rather than marry Paris, thou hast the strength of will to slay thyself, then thou wilt undertake a thing like death. And if thou darest, I'll give thee remedy. Who oh, bid me leap rather than Mary Paris from off the battlements of yonder tower rather than Mary Paris? Or walking through the shoes, or bid me look where serpents are, rather than Mary Paris, chain me with roaring bears, or hide me nightly in our charnel house, or covered quite with dead man's rattling bones. With reeky shanks and yellow chapless skulls, or bid me go into a newly made grave and hide me with a dead man in his shroud. night, take thou this vial and this distilling liquor drink thou of, when presently through all thy veins shall run a cold and drowsy humor, and no pulse shall keep his native progress, but Surcease. No warmth, no breath shall testify thou livest. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade to pale ashes. Thy eyes' windows fall like death, like death. 
like death when he shuts up the day of life. And in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death, thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the Capulets lie. In the meantime, shall Romeo by my letters know a drift, and hither shall he come, and he and I will watch my waking. And that very night shall Romeo bear the hands to Mantua. Give me, give me. With no fear of late thy valor. Tell me not to fear. Get thee gone. Be strong in this resolve. I send my letters to thy lord. Amen. How sound is she asleep? I must needs wake her. Madam, 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 madam. I must needs wake you. Lady, 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 lady. Alas, 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 alas. Help, help, help.
nothing can be ill. If she be well, if she be well, then she is well, and nothing can be ill. Her body sleeps in Charles Monument, and her Let me have a dram of poison, such as will disperse itself through all the veins as violently as cannons powder. Come, cordial. Oh, 
thus with a kiss I die. Some good. 
disappointing with its dreams. A son for sorrow, 